All right, let's go ahead and kick off this video quick like with, yep, right off the bat, Spider-Man Far From Home, Barnes Noble, Hydro Man, Glow in the Dark. Definitely will be picking this up. They must have just got these guys because there's four of them sitting right here. By the way, if you didn't know, this is Ryan with Jetta Patrol, and uh, we're doing a little hunt video here. We're in Barnes & Noble. We're actually in the mall. We're gonna find some other cool stuff, but right off the bat, it's gonna score one of these. So uh, I'm gonna leave it right there for a second. We'll come back and see what else we got. We got Jesse, Toy Story 4, Summer back there, Panda, Freddie Mercury, <coughs> Queen. Let's see what else we got. Doctor Who, Venomized Iron Man. I got one of those. Uh, Sour Patch Kids. Let's see here. Professor. All right, so it looks like they get this new in here. We Bear Bears Flocked Barnes Noble Exclusive. I know nothing about these, but Flocked is always cool, right? Uh, there's actually, there's the regular one, and then there's the Flocked one. So that's awesome. We're going to put that right back there. We got Angel Betty Boots. Pretty awesome. We got this Batmobile. Uh, which we saw at GameStop not too long ago. And then we got the 1989 Batman. That's actually pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Um, that's... They got a I love these boxes. I, mean, I don't do DC a lot, but the boxes they're doing on these, like, that's just, that's just cool. All right, let's see what's the Hellboy Hopper. That's from the previous line. We've seen the newer line come out here recently. We got some Fortnite stuff. We got Vince Gilligan. I don't know this guy. Obviously, he's a director, but what he's directed, I don't know off the top of my head. I did pick up J.J. Abrams uh, previously, so pretty happy about that. But we got more Men in Black from the original line, Agent J. and Frank. That's pretty cool. Devil. All right, so we have a Devil Betty Boop and we have an Angel Betty Boop. That's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alita is awesome. Check out the feet on this one. Look at the feet on the Alita. Like rollerblades kind of deal, pretty neat. Uh, let's see here, Kimberly, Power Rangers, and Romeo, so we don't need that. Let's head to, holy cow. All right, so, not gonna lie, this is ridiculous for Barnes & Noble. What on earth have we, uh, what have they done? Look at this, holy cow. Barnes & Noble done kicked it up a notch on the pop game. That's crazy, like I don't even know where to, start. I guess we'll start here, right? So Harry Potter all the way down this line, final two packs. They've actually got them organized, which is, wow. I'm, I'm impressed, Barnes and Noble. Y'all kicked it up a notch. All right, so we got Rubius up here. We got Hedwig. We got uh, Sorting Hat Ron Weasley. We got Hermione as a cat. Three pack, the Mandrakes down there. NYCC Hermione going on. A bunch of those, like there's a whole section of NYCC uh, Hermione. It's like, if you need one, I think they got one, so yeah. So Bloody Baron's pretty cool. Looks like we're getting into Fantastic Beast. Two packs, bunch of those, bunch of uh, Gellerts there. I was Dumbledore, Glow in the Dark. So much stuff. Holy cow, guys! Comment down below. Let me know if your Barnes and Noble looks anything like this, because honestly, previously mine didn't. This is this is insane. All right, so got all the gold chromes going on the top from. Uh, Marvel, we got some Venomized stuff, Venom, uh, Eddie Brock, we got Iron Man, Captain Marvel going on up there, we got some Gold Black Panther, Dark Phoenix, uh, Game Reverse Spider-Man, this is actually a pretty cool line, I like the uh, uh, Mary Jane with the toy Spidey back there, that's pretty cool, so Black Panther, some more Chromes, Infinity Gauntlet, I, uh, I've debated buying one of these a lot, uh, I've seen it at Walmart or whatever, but I just haven't picked it up yet, I did however, I did, however, order the Hot Toys life-size Iron Man gauntlet from um, Endgame. So I did order that, so it'll show up next year sometime, but pretty excited about that. Uh, we got Nebula. This is all the in-game stuff. Thanos, I've got that. I like this pocket pop. I just wish it wasn't with the uh, the pajama suit. I wish it was just a regular cap. So glow in the dark, got the Marvel War Machine. Hawkeye, I've got that one, don't need it. So much stuff. More Hawkeyes, Ant Man and the Wasp. Dang. So they've got it. Star Wars. Um, don't need any. Uh, this one I'm actually somewhat interested in. Actually, am uh, because I think that's a pretty cool box. But and I do like these boxes. I like these boxes. They're they're uh, they're pretty good looking. So what else? Hey, ooh, I haven't seen this before. Final two pack. Ellen Ripley and the Xenomorph. That's a cool 
don't know how well it's coming across the glare, but. That uh, Xenomorph, that's pretty cool. I dig that. Uh, Luke and Leia, vinyl two packs. We got Gollum. I don't know if you guys remember last year when everybody was freaking out about this thing. Like, nobody can find it. I can't find it. They were selling for like 30 bucks. Uh, now I see them all the time. Uh, Boromir is actually a very, very cool pop. Pretty much any of the Lord of Rings pops are pretty uh, pretty detailed. But like I said, Gollum's in there. And then we got some ECCC. I mean, just look at all those. No shortage of those at all. Game of Thrones. Honestly, not a whole lot of Game of Thrones. We've got a lot of George R.R. R. Martins. And we got some thrones down there, but that's about it on Game of Thrones. So, yeah, there we go. Seasons one through seven. We need season one through eight, and then I'll end up picking one of those up. Two hundred bucks though. Ouch. Ouch. That's a lot. All right. So we got Toy Story four, Bo Peep exclusive. Let me grab one of these up top, guys. And uh, you guys can check that one up with her staff. I already have this one. Very cool. Definitely recommend picking that one up if you like Toy Story. We got Wheezy, Buzz Lightyear, this Nesbit, Lego and Stitch. Uh, we got some uh, 90 years Mickey's going on up there. And here's all the exclusive for Bo Peep. So again, no shortage of those. I do not have this RC, uh, Woody and RC. I would like that one. So maybe we'll add that one to the list. It's just the boxes are so large. I'd, having somewhere to display them is, uh, is difficult. So uh, Nutcracker stuff, Mary Poppins. I have the Hot Topic exclusive one of that. Nightmare Before Christmas. Man, there's so much stuff. Holy cow. Can't get over it. It's like, I don't know. It's like having a toy store here in Barnes & Noble. Fortnite, we got a bunch of Rexes. Still one of my favorite Fortnite pops of all time. Rex is amazing. Dumbo stuff up top. We got Love Ranger Zoe up top as well. Valor, Glow in the Dark, Dark Vanguard. So much. All this Fortnite stuff. I think I own most of them though, so we don't need that. I have this two pack, I haven't opened it yet. I have this four pack, I haven't opened it yet. So I need to do that, make that happen. And I think, look, they even have more over here. Like it doesn't even in there. They've got them, it's his. And I, hey, look, there's even more way back on the counter there. You can't see them. Uh, let's see, Brady Bunch. Holy cow. Uh, Modern Family, not a fan. Jetsons are kind of cool. Elroy looks pretty cool. There's Jane and Judy. Office Space, Dr. Cox from Scrubs. Shazam, never saw it. And then Aquaman. So DC got like this one shelf. So good job, DC. You rock. All right, we made it to, we made the Hot Topic. So check it out. We have the Hot Topic exclusive 11. Uh, be honest with you, that's a very boring pop. I'm not gonna lie. The Battle 11 is way cooler, and it's just a common. And this one's gonna cost you 15, well, uh, 12 50. It's just, um, that's just boring, I don't know, I don't get it. I mean, this freaking common slider is more interesting than, than our Slimer, I said Slider. Uh, more interesting than that, so that's kind of disappointing. Then we got the Hot Topic exclusive SpongeBob. That's a cool pop. Like, I, I'm not, yeah, I don't know. Funko, where you at? It's just getting, getting kind of lazy. So there's all those. We got fairy tale going up top, Super Troopers. Down here at the bottom, we got the Simpsons exclusive. Now this one's cool. No lie, that one's cool. Homer Moo Moo, remember this uh, episode? Press the any key. And he's like, I can't find the any key. That was pretty cool, so there's that. But let's, uh, let's go back to the wall. See if there's anything interesting. Oh, it's that guy again. That guy again. Let's go. Ready? Boom. Boom. All right, there's Bo Peep. That's the common because we just saw Barnes & Noble. We got some exclusives from Amazonia. $7 exclusives, kind of crazy. Mysterio. This one, actually, I do like this one. Can't, you seen this one? Yeah, that's cool. This one right here where he's, I got his, like, his own diorama base. That's a pretty cool pop. I, um, and when the Hot Toys drops the uh, figure of this one, the black and red, you best believe I will be picking the that. Stuff. The common mysterio is not bad, but I, um, I'm gonna hold out for the Walmart glow. I missed it on the website multiple times, so I don't know. Owlman is pretty cool. If you like DC, that's a pretty detailed pop. I like that one. And um, I mean, it's just normal stuff. Nothing really super crazy. $5 stuff going on. 
Share 40 Hot Topic Exclusive. I still don't have that one, but it'll show up on clearance. And then we got the Hot Topic Exclusive Dark Phoenix, and then there's Deku. I mean, just so much stuff. And uh, those of you who collect Funko Pops, do me a favor. Do not buy these. They're garbage. 100% grade A garbage right here. And they're $10.50. These are, these are horrible. Do not buy these. Just warning you, it's a waste of money. This one is kind of cool. The first time I've seen this one. I, I haven't seen this one before. Rescue. Think. Yeah, Rescue. Uh, Hot Toys just dropped a pre-order for Rescue Armor. And I'm on the fence with that one. You guys let me know in the comment section if I should pick it up. But um, there's the pop. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap up today's video. Barnes & Noble was amazing. I mean, that was that was pretty crazy. That was crazy to have like just wall that was that was insane piles of exclusive not all, all common stuff exclusive nycc stuff emerald city stuff barnes noble exclusive and i did pick up something i did pick up something so you guys may have seen it earlier in the clips but i did pick up the glow in the dark hydro man check that thing out that's super cool so we're gonna put this in the uh glow in the dark display and we'll see how it how it glows we'll maybe throw some photos on instagram or something um but this is my first pop from this wave that i've gotten so far i would like to find the happy hogan but i haven't haven't found it yet uh and i'm waiting on the walmart exclusive mysterio i kind of want that one uh i did see the glow in the dark molten man at gamestop but honestly that one looked kind of lame it just uh i don't know i wasn't feeling it uh out of all of these are probably the happy the mysterio and the upgraded tech soup spider-man i kind of dig that one because of the diorama type display base i think that's pretty cool uh, but i thought this one looked pretty cool so i'm curious to see how well it glows also my buddy kent pool found something at another GameStop while he was out this morning and he goes hey do you need this and i was like uh yeah so i got i got a mud trooper i got a mud trooper so super happy about that one i have two jump troopers i have the minman trooper and now the mud trooper I, i'd like probably get a couple more of these to go the battle droids uh kind of like making this like a, a star wars shelf i guess is with the pile of these things i don't know uh but i've never seen one of these in person and for him to message me and say hey you need this that is super awesome so shout out to kent um because honestly this is um it's pretty cool i mean it's not it's not it's pretty cool look at that face sculpt that's uh that's pretty solid the weathering on the paint apps and everything that's pretty cool so anyways i hope you guys are enjoying this week of hunt videos if you are let me know in the comment section down below if you haven't joined the facebook group there's a link in the description for, for that as well jetta's patrol definitely coming there we're having a good time in there uh whether you collect pops action figures statues oreos I don't, whatever you it doesn't matter what you collect come join us and have a good time uh, as always guys collect what you like we'll see you next time